Hello guys, me Austin Dawson here, and the Michigan Wolverines absolutely dominated Penn State 42-7 at the Big House. What a game it was for Michigan. Other than that late touchdown, that, that's pretty much it. They pretty much dominated. Penn State had no chance. It wasn't even a, a chance for them, man. Just... Michigan just took it to them. Their defense looked absolutely incredible. They're 8 1 in the season. They're 6 0 in the Big Ten. Man, they're like. Michigan just looks promising. If they can beat Ohio State in the last game, they'll make the Big Ten championship game, and I think they'll make the college football playoffs. As long as LSU loses Alabama, it definitely helps us because it makes it hard for us to make it. Especially that we lost to, to Notre Dame. Now, honestly, this is my opinion, but I feel like it would definitely it would happen if we versus Notre Dame week week three or or higher or farther. Sorry, farther. We would have beat them. We would have beat them. I believe it. It was pretty close on the road week when we just weren't ready. We weren't prepared. We, you know, we were just. We were rusty, and you can tell Michigan's defense has been incredible. They've only given up 21 points in the last three games. 21 points. Incredible. Like, the last three games definitely have proved that Michigan is for real. I feel like they deserve to make the college football playoffs. Ohio State does not. They barely lost to Nebraska, a team that was 0-6, and a team that's only t that's only 2-7 two, two and seven now. It's just... It's just, like, that was a horrible game by Halsey. I don't know what was going on in that game. They looked bad against Nebraska at home. They barely won. They won, what was it, by, like, five points? Like, bad loss for Ohio State. You gotta play better than that. And it's like, ever since, like, Ur Myers came back, it's, it's almost like they haven't really played that good. And honestly, they should go down. Especially that West Virginia won. They definitely should, uh, West Virginia definitely should be going up. And what a game at West Virginia, man. It's Texas. That was a great game. They went for two, and they, they got in and win the game. But anyway, I did not have a ball in the video. But yeah, what a game by Michigan. Their defense is incredible. The best in the country. Their offense, their offense needs improvement. Now, don't get me wrong. Their offense did score 42 points today. Pretty much dominating against Penn State, or did dominate against Penn State. Peter P Patter P is a, I think it's Patterson, I think I believe he that's how you pronounce it again. 108 86 yards, three touchdowns, not one mistake. The only mistake that Michigan had was when they kick when their kicker tried to kick the field goal and they got blocked. And Penn State almost ran it in, but it was like there was a few flags that happened, so Penn State didn't end up having the ball. Go ahead. Yeah, the kick was blocked. It was a 50 yarder, and from then on, we went for fourth down quite a bit. We did pretty good with that. I don't know, like, I don't remember. Whoops. Let me go there. I can't get shaky. With that hand. Took my other hand with my other arm. I was getting tired. But, yeah, Michigan looked great. Like just incredible. Looking at the recap, it's Michigan to a seven in the first, seven in the second, fourteen the third, fourteen the fourth. And they just pretty much shut down Oops. Yeah, hang on with me. Look at the Alright, I'm looking at the yards right here at the game stats. 118 passing for Penn State, 143 for Michigan. Only 69 yards rushing for Penn State and 261 for Michigan. Incredible. Our running back over 140 yards of rushing. Our receiving was Collins with 50 with 53 receiving. Yards per play, 4 for Penn State, 5.9 for Michigan, 13 first downs for Penn State, 21 for Michigan, and possession, 
22 minutes for Penn State and 37 and almost 38 minutes for Michigan. Penn State just looked like garbage. They, Michigan, they're for real. I mean, their defense is incredible. It's unstoppable. They're definitely proving that they deserve to make the college football playoffs. Now, if they can win through, if Michigan can win through, be a house finally. They should have beat them two years ago, let's be honest. Let's hope they beat them this time in Ohio State, because you know how it is. They're probably going to break Michigan, because it's not surprising, honestly. I think it's going to be a close game. I will have a final prediction video um, the day before, maybe two days before, I don't know, somewhere around that date. And I'll have a before and after video. It should be a good game. We, this, if we can't beat Ohio State now, we're, we're never going to beat them with, with, with Jim Harbaugh. I just don't see it. It's just, I just, I really hope that we beat Ohio State. We finally, we got to beat them. We haven't beat them since 2011. And honestly, when I look back, we should have beat them at least three times since 2011. Or at least, no, three times after 2011, we should have beat them. There was that one year where it was like, you know, it was in the 40s. It was at, it was at the big house. I remember the score was. We, we were trying to go for two for the win. We didn't get it. But we made a mistake or two that should have got us the win. Two years ago, we should have won. I feel like that was rigged for us to lose. We made a few mistakes in that game. Don't get me wrong. And, um, there was another game. I'm pretty sure there was another game that it was kind of close that we probably should have won. But... It's hard to go back, you know, all these games, but either way, they beat us, whatever. I hope they beat it. I hope we beat them this time. Let's beat the back guys. Let's finally get to the Big Ten Championship, prove that we're for real, win the Big Ten Championship. And it was so interesting that Iowa lost. Iowa lost to Purdue. And now we have to see if Northwestern can beat Notre Dame. They, I'm hoping they beat Notre Dame because it helps us. Because they can beat Notre Dame. And then LSU lose to Alabama? We're number three. We are number three in the country. Be huge. So let's hope Northwestern North win. And Northwestern wins, oh, we're most likely going to verse them in the Big Ten Championship game if if we do um if we do um, you know, be Ohio State. Oh nice catch. Yeah, I'm watching the Oregon against LS LC LA. It's up. It's ducks are up seven nothing. Nice, nice, nice throw. But um, by Justin. Um, yeah, I forgot what his last name is. But Justin something. Apparently he's a, apparently that um now he can play. Apparently he's clear to play. But um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. That's really I just hope no Russian beast, no Dame. Alabama beats LSU in LSU. So it's just hope and. Hope they can be ranked number three, or at least number four at least. Well guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Please drop a like, follow me on Instagram Twitter. Go blue. Let's just hope let's just hope that we can get to the Big Ten Championship game for once. I feel like we deserve it. It's been a while it's been a while. I've never the long the farthest I've seen Michigan get is number five when he lost to Florida State. That's the farthest I've seen them get. Like like at the end at the year. The be near the beginning of the year, I believe they were number four at one point. I don't think they were number three at one point, but I think they were number four. But yeah, I just hope we can get there. Finally, we can prove who we are. Maze Blues, hail to the victors, and yeah, guys. Peace. Go Blue.